Rehearsal of warm up. First to the right eyebrow. Ready. And one, and two, and. Here was this totally outrageous voice. After reading that first National Lampoon, I went, wow. In those days, magazines were a big deal. People defined themselves by the magazines they read. Breasts. I would seek out the magazine on the off chance that there would be some breasts. Tell me about National Lampoon. Why do you think it's so popular? They're designed to flatter a particular audience of fairly well-to-do nobodies. So there's this wonderful freedom. If you don't buy this magazine, we'll kill this dog. We can do anything we want! My first week at the National Lampoon, we were getting drunk in a park. There was a man secretly living in his office. It was a crazy place, like nothing I'd ever seen before. I didn't tell him what to do. It is the job of a satirist to make people in power uncomfortable. What about a baby in a blender? Really uncomfortable. We were taking on the idiocy of our own generation. It showed that we could do more than put out a magazine. Suddenly, it was records and actors and musicians. We're going to make a movie. I said, hey, why don't you write this high school movie? There was so much sex. We can't do this in a high school. We'll get lynched. So that became Adam Haas. And from that moment on, we went from being criminals to heroes. What we didn't anticipate was that Hollywood would take away all of our creative talent. John Hughes wrote the short story, Vacation 58. This movie was a huge success. The more popular we got, the more people's egos were doing this. The Lampoon is the hippest place to be to write comedy until the hippest place became Saturday Night Live. It was written by some Lampoon people. It was starring some former Lampoon people. Chevy Chase chuckled and he said, nobody gets laid writing for National Lampoon anymore. Better luck next time. There would be Doug with his dick in some girl's ear. You could get high just walking in. They became all of modern comedy. You are never going to see people like that again. And I'm going to end it on that note. Hi, it's Lisa with a quick movie fact from 1982's Blade Runner. Did you know the title had nothing to do with the Philip K. Dick story the film is based on? Instead, it comes from Alan E. Norse's 1974 novel about the supply of black market medical supplies in a dystopian future. Hmm, interesting, hey? Now hit that subscribe button to keep updated on all the latest trailer releases.